Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of our Fire Emblem Three Houses playthrough. We are picking up right where we left off at the end of the last episode, where we completed the Battle of the Eagle and the Lions. Edelgard, Professor. And let's see what the story battle. has to say. You both fought exceptionally well. Complete and utter defeat. I would hate to make an enemy of you two. No need to get carried away with praise. I know you both feel we won by a paper-thin margin. And I won't deny it. If we were to fight again, there's no telling who would prevail. What do you think, Professor? I think we'd win every time. They were nothing. Professor? Well, I suppose it's okay to let victory go to your head just this once. In any case, I hope the day never comes when we have to put this experience to use. Agreed. I would hate to know a future in which I'm forced to cross swords with you. True, although the Battle of the Eagle and Lion was originally named after a war between the Empire and the Kingdom. But that's all in the past. I'm sure even the name will one day fade from the pages of history. I hope so. I hope so. How admirable, Teach. On that note, I have a proposition. When we get back to Garrick Mach, let's have a grand feast to break down the walls between our respective houses. And by a grand feast, I mean a fairly regular feast in the dining hall. It would be a fine opportunity to get to know each other better. Count me in. So be it. Let's plan to meet up on the night we return. Is that okay with you, Professor? We'll celebrate our victory. What's gotten into you today? I'm not used to seeing you this excited. Seeing such a big smile on your face is a rare gift. It makes me feel like I can maybe relax a little, too. It's finally over. There are way too many strangers at that feast. Put your chin high, Bernie. It was a chance for you to have growth. But, but everyone was acting so friendly. It was overwhelming. Linhart, I wasn't done talking to you. If those Alliance guys came at it from here, and those Kingdom guys came from there... I know, I know. We'd have been able to take them out all at once. I heard you. I'm going to bed now. Did anyone get the feeling that there were already couples forming? That's not really fair, is it? I wanted to sneak off with someone, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for some tea after our meal anyway. Would you care to join me? Thanks, but no thanks, Mr. Noble. I already have my heart set on someone else. Until today, Ouch. I thought it would be to me to command and guide our ranks all by myself. But with you leading us, I've gotten to experience what it's like to fight alongside everyone. And I've realized how happy it makes me, fighting under your command. The Emperor doesn't take orders from anyone. It's their duty to stand alone and lead the entire empire. But maybe it's better to have someone to rely on so that you can support and guide each other through the darkness. Am I that someone? I may be heir to the Imperial throne, but first and foremost, I'm your grateful student. That will never change, even when I fulfill my destiny and become the Emperor. I told you long ago that I wished to enlist you in the service of the Empire. Well, I take it back. Now I wish only for your continued guidance during my eventual reign. You just hide away in the corner, Professor. You're the reason we're celebrating. It's because of you that I've had the courage to leave my room for a bit each day. I'm... I'm so grateful, Professor! <laughs> we were all just discussing how well you led us. Remarkable. Your guidance is without parallel, Professor. <laughs> I have had practicing of that phrase. Your training's been top notch, really. <laughs> Whatever would we do without you? I have had the opportunity to experience much. Please allow me to offer you my gratitude once more, Professor. I feel the same. You are something special, my teacher. All right, and with that story bit out of the way, let's see what's next. The of the Eagle and More story. Quite versatile. 
Comparing against their performance at the mock battle of the Great Tree Moon, the students have grown significantly. It is clear that this is a result of your guidance. In appreciation of your efforts and to show our high hopes for the future of your students, I award you with this. Please oh. continue to instruct your students as a model teacher. So, you've made good use of all my power after all. I would have been upset if you had failed at such an easy task. It pains me to assign such a disturbing mission to you during such a blessed moment in time. However, next month your assignment will be to journey to Ramire Village to investigate an abnormal occurrence there. Ramire Village? If I recall, you've been there with your father many times. An abnormal occurrence? I have yet to ascertain the details. But it would seem the villagers have been acting strangely. I have already dispatched the knights to verify the authenticity of this information. They should be back shortly. I suggest you begin by finding out what they have discovered. I pray this is not a bad omen. May the goddess protect you all. We received a blessed lance. Cool. What does that do? Okay, so it does extra damage to monsters and restores 10% HP every turn. We are not going to discard that. Alright, what do we have next? Ah, the introduction to the new chapter. White clouds. Red wolf moon. The flame in the darkness. Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike, and an icy chill blown in from the north of Vargas blankets the land. All of Fotland's creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. The setting sun bathes the full winter coat of every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. All right, a little bit of a lower building there. So let's see what this story has next for us. I know this episode is going to be a bit on the shorter end, if you can't tell already from the time. But we'll get through what we can. That's what we're dealing with. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no absolutes in medicine, but the chances are extremely slim. Restless movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wait. With symptoms that varied, there are only a few possibilities. It's either a mixture of poisons or magic, and dark magic at that. You're talking about Lemire Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my, if it isn't Gerald. Tell me, what was the first thing you heard? Everything, after you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease. My child and I owe the people of Lemire Village. If something's happening there, we must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the knights, hear what they have to say. I must go. Thank you for your help, Manuela. You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Lemire Village. After all... I owe you my life. If you'd like, I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Just the two of us. <laughs> I'm afraid not. You're Sorry, Manuela. Well, aren't you just a great big bore? Nice try, but I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. As you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. I'll be in my office making preparations. What about you? If you have the time, it would be helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the knights. Hmm? Oh? Oh, what's going on? 
I'm okay. If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? Well, that's interesting. So it looks like we just collapsed for some reason. What could have caused such dizziness? I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. So it looks like we are starting off with instruction. What do we have to instruct? So we have a couple people at about half. Dorothea is at full. Okay. Well, let's start off with the people who are at full and get them up. I know we will need... A perfect. All right. Get some praise up in there. We're going to want to get her great armor or her armor up, her heavy armor. So that should be good. Dorothea, on the other hand here, I believe she's already a flyer. So you don't have to do anything with that. So instead, we're just going to have her do Lance. Lysithia is good on flying, but we also need her to do more axe stuff, so we'll go ahead and train that up twice. Edelgard's looking good. B plus magic, C plus. And white magic. Bernadette is same thing, B plus and C plus. Petra, on the other hand, she could use some guidance. Unfortunately, it's not enough to level it up at this go around. What do we have next? Anna. Let's get some magic on Anna. Perfect. And then same thing with Yuri. We're going to get some magic on Yuri as well. There we go. We got one left. One left. Hmm. Let's do it with Bernadetta, and we'll get her authority up a little bit. So the group tasks are still the flyers, which is good. As for goals... Let's see, as for the goals, we'll do... We'll have her focus on reason and authority. That's okay, she'll be good with authority. Um, Dorothea, Lance, and Flying. We'll switch this to reason. Oh, we'll do reason and authority as well. We'll switch her to just axe. Leone, same thing, just the axe. Yuri is looking good with the sword, so we're actually going to focus on some magic next for him. And we should be good Could to go. Me on something? I hope you will indulge me with a candid reply, Professor, so I can have a good laugh. As a noble, can you name even one thing I am lacking? An official title. So much more perfectly now. She's missing her title. Friend. Yuri. Uh, no. You're not changing. You don't get to change. You look unwound. It's because of what happened, isn't it? Don't speak of it aloud. You can't change the past. For now, all we can do is use it to our advantage. I know that. I also know that I must steel myself to ascend the Imperial throne. Those preparations are going well. We... Uh, someone is coming. Professor, I heard about our mission for this month. Something terrible is happening in Ramire Village. That's where you were when fate sent you our way. This feels... Preordained. Are the knights making progress with their investigation? 
I don't know. I don't know if they are. If what is happening there is by design, there must be someone pulling the strings. There is the Death Knight, of course, and the mysterious mages who were implicated with the Western Church. They showed up when Flame was kidnapped as well. And now there is another strange occurrence near the monastery. Hmm. It seems an unknown organization hopes to make the monastery its stage for something. Do you believe that all these incidents are connected, Professor? I do not. I do not think they're all connected. Oh, I'm surprised to hear you say that. But actually, I agree. It certainly appears that all of the events surrounding the monastery are connected by a single thread. However, I think it's possible that it may just be a result of different motives overlapping. Remember, Professor. If you think of people as simply enemies or allies, it may be impossible to grasp the truth. So it was a bit of a midweek story. See if anything fun is going on. Linhart's birthday. Yeah, we'll give him some flowers. Ready to get some work done? Let's get So we have the flyers completing their tasks. They're looking good. So we got some skill levels up. Dorothea with Lance. I'm a quick study. Yuri with Nosferatu, which is good. We'll go ahead and close out of that. Okay. What do we have here? So, first thing I want to do is I want to try and get Bernadetta here to be a warlock. So we're going to try it again. I know we failed last time we did this. And I think we're going to fail again. Oh, we don't fail this time. I had a feeling. She had a question mark above her head. I was like, huh, maybe we'll fail. But we did pass. That will increase magic by a bunch. Defense and resistance. Look at that. So Bernadetta just got super tanky. No one else is able to advance yet. Byleth isn't able to either. So we'll be okay there. I do want to check on the special real quick. Sword and Faith. So I need to get them working on Faith to become a trickster. Oh, and they need the Thief certification. So maybe I should get them that real quick. Oh, Anna. Um, oops. I should probably upgrade Anna to Thief real quick. I guess I hadn't ever done that with her. And I think I'll need to get Thief on Yuri as well. So we will convert class. Yuri is also still a beginning class. Oh, no. Oh no, I thought I had them a little bit higher. Yuri was doing that much work at this low class level. I need to go through the rest of them. Alright, we'll make Yuri into there. Yeah, so we'll need them focusing on Faith, so that's what we'll have them focus on soon enough. I think we're all good here. Oh, jeez. Um. Ooh, the resistance will go down. Speed will stay pretty good. She does stay the same, though. But she will be able to tank a little bit more. Alright. We're going to give Leone the Armored Knight class. We will switch over to that. Lysithia looks like she can also rank up. We're going to turn her into a brigand, I believe. Yeah. Going to turn her into a brigand. That way she can eventually become a wyvern fighter. 
So our strength increases by one, luck increases by two. And then hopefully we have enough to do Wyvern Rider, which is close, which is close. So as soon as she hits level 20, she should be good. Petra over here. Again, I just, I haven't been, you know, getting their certifications up. So we'll get Petra up as well. Swap her over. Dorothy is good. Edelgard is good. All right. I think we are set. And as I did mention, we are going to keep this episode a little short. So this is where I'm going to end today's episode. So guys, thank you for sticking with me watching this far. Uh, next episode, we'll be getting into some battles, some paralogues, more story stuff. So if you have enjoyed the content I have been producing, feel free to leave a like on this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and I am looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.